Hello and welcome to another Budget and Legit video. We have a 2015 uh, Volkswagen Golf 1.6 diesel. I think it's a 1.6. Now, we have a slight problem. It should just be a normal service, which it will be, but unfortunately, from the number plate and the engine code, we can't get the exactly right bits to, to make sure we get the right ones. I have to take all the bits off, take them down to the motor factors, and then basically, yep, yeah, this is right, this is right, blah, blah, and then come back. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take all the bits off we would do for the service, then I'm gonna collect the bits and then we'll bang them back in. Now I'm gonna take off the diesel filter first, which has got one, two, three, four, five T25 torque bolts on them. So we'll whip off this and then get to the diesel filter. I'm just gonna use this because it's gonna be a lot quicker. So get these bolts off. So you get a screwdriver, a little flat blade in it, just to start wiggling this, just to get it up. There we go. Yeah, and the dog can see the rabbit. One filter. Lovely. One diesel filter. There we go. Now we can move to the air filter. Now the engine is still nice and warm, so I'm still going to be able to drain the oil. Normally I would have done that first, but I just want to get these off before I get it on the lift properly. There's six T25 bolts on this as well, the same as the other ones, T25. There's actually two more, just hiding down here. There we go, so we're going to replace that as well. Now we'll get it on the lift and uh, we'll drain the oil. And take off the oil filter. As you can see what I like to do is take off the oil filter cap. It's just so then, you know, if you do get distracted and you look at the engine, you know there's something not quite white. So you might not have the oil put back in. It just kind of gives you another reminder. Now hopefully you can see that. I took off the cover underneath, it had a couple of T25s and T45 bolts in it, so we can now see what we're doing. And right here on my finger, I don't know if you can just see it, this is the oil filter housing. So we're going to have to take all this, either just push it to the side or just get it out of the way somehow. So in Volkswagen's ultimate wisdom, they've shoved a really important part of the engine and they've made it really, really awkward. To get to. So I'm going to drain the oil first and then take out that. Right, we have a 19 mil sub nut. Let's see if I can do this without getting covered in oil. And that really is hot. Look, they've put a nice little blanket for the sump. Isn't that nice, the Volkswagen? All that's going to do is just trap, crap, water, oil, and everything. You're not going to be able to tell if you've got an oil leak or anything. Right, 32 mil is the socket for the oil filter, and let's see if we can get this all.
That's just ridiculous. And there's our culprit. That's what we need. We need to take that with us as well to make sure we get the right one. Now I can put the sump nut plug back on. Now, once I get the bits, we'll uh, continue. So, we get to the new air filter. What we need to do, blow all this out. If you, haven't got, if you haven't got an airline, you can hoover it out. Make sure it's nice and clean. Pop the new filter in. Now, what well, you have to be careful, we have to make sure all the holes are lined up. The filter goes down nice and easy. We don't want to force a filter box down with these screws. You don't do that, else you will break something. And then again, start from the middle and kind of do a star pattern, again like the wheels. Sorted! Now we need to lift it up and do the oil filter. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the filter in first. Now it just makes life a bit easier. The little locking tab goes down onto the filter housing and the big hole slides up through it. So we're going to get this on now and put the cap on. It'll just make life a lot easier because of the position that it's in. So we'll make sure it's all the way up, which it is. And then put the cap on. Make sure you look at the O-ring, make sure it's good. There's no cracks or anything in it. If it is, replace it. But if there isn't, I can assure you now, there's no need to replace. It's going to be awkward getting this on, but make sure we get this on. Screw it in by hand as much as you can. Make sure you don't cross thread it. There is a new ton meeting on this. Um, it's normally around 25 new tons in and around there. So get it all the way up first. And just give it a little bit of a nip. Be very careful because you can break these so easily. Now, it's always a good thing. I'm not going to put the cover on. I'm going to start this to make sure it's not leaking oil out of the filter or out of the sump plug or anything like that. So don't put the cover on until you've started it. At least for five minutes and just check everything before you put the covers on. Now, as you can see, we've got a slight problem with the diesel filter. Well, a big problem, really. Um, now we've cross-referenced this with every type of filter and it's coming up with this filter even though this is the one that came out of the car. Now we've even rang the main agents that supply the motor factors and they're coming up with this part. So I'm not sure what Volkswagen have done or doing but basically it's saying it's the right one for it. Now the only thing is the filter housing is huge. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this inside the filter housing first to see if it fits. If it fits we're not going to have a problem. Now I have drained the diesel out of this, so I've sucked all the diesel out and I've cleaned it to make sure there's no crap in it. And well there we go, it fits. So I'm not going to worry about it. What you do have to do is make sure you put the o-ring on though. And the o-ring slits in between, well on top of the filter you could say. But it sits, so it's kind of in between the filter so you can see it like that. And that is important, because otherwise if you don't do that it won't seal properly and it will draw air. Well you'll never get it started because you'll never be able to fill this diesel reservoir. There's a few ways of filling this diesel reservoir. You can either pour diesel in it now, or you can do what I'm going to do, is once I've got this down, I'm going to get my pump and I'm just going to suck, it, suck the diesel through it. Once the diesel has come into the pump, I know I've got it right. Well, I know I've got it full, should I say. Now, I'm not sure if this is the same setup as the Passat's. But I know on the Passats, um, you cannot turn the key to fill this because it will not fill. Now I did get a comment saying that's how you do it, but I can assure you it's not. It might be on these, I'm not saying it's not on these, but on the Passats it's definitely not. And it looks to be more or less the same type of filter housing. Um, even towing the car, if this, is, if this is empty, even towing the car won't fill this up. You have to get this full first. So, I'm just going to tighten these down, and again, you want to do it in a star pattern to make sure 
you get it nice and evenly down. Now, I just like to go around them again just to make sure they're definitely evenly done. Sorted. Right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to disconnect the fuel line. So you have to be careful which one you do. You've got a, a feed coming in. So this is coming in from the tank, goes into the filter, this feeds the engine, and this one is the return. So I need the middle one. So I'm going to take off the middle pipe. Move the clip out of the way. Then all I've got is just a, like a pump, as you can see. I'm just going to shove the pipe down there, pump the pump. Once diesel starts coming through this pipe, I know that is full. It really is as simple as that. Now, you might not be able to see it. But there's diesel coming through there now, so I know there we go. that should be good enough to start this once we get the oil in. So I'm going to put that pipe back now. There we go. Push back the clip. Make sure the pipe is all the way in. Now, sorted. Now for the oil. Now I know I bang on about oil a lot, but it is so important to get the right oil for your engine. This is 530 fully synthetic and it's Volkswagen spec. This is 504 spec and it is vitally important you get the right oil because you put the wrong oil in, this is a brand new car, you put the wrong oil in, within a year you're going to have problems. So believe me, put the right oil in. It is not cheap, but it will save you a fortune in the long run. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to put three and a half litres in, check it with the dipstick and then see how much more I need. But also bear in mind that the filter has to take some as well. So even if the dipstick reads full, we'll be okay to start it, let the filter take its oil and then double check the level and add however much we need after that. But this three and a half litres should give us enough to start it at least, just to see um, if it's going to, well, how much more we need after that. Wipe the dipstick and just see where, roughly where we're at. Now, on this dipstick, oh, you can see like a hashed area. The bottom mark is the minimum and the top mark is the maximum. So we're aiming for the top mark. As we can see, oh, as you can see, we're just on the minimum. So I'm going to put another another liter in, and then I'll be able to start it. Now that gives enough to start it. There's no guarantee it will start because we might have still put air in the system. So we're going to start it. If it doesn't start, we'll bleed it. But if it does, I'm going to leave it running for about 30 seconds. Let the filter fill up, knock it off and dip it in about 30 seconds after that just to see so let's hope fingers crossed let's hope it starts let's see what happens Sorted! So I'm just going to leave this leave this for 30 seconds or so just wait for the oil light to, to turn off inside and then uh, 
double check everything. So I turn the camera back on when I'm ready to dip it. Now, let's just dip this to see where we're at. We are going to need more, but let's see how much more we need. Typically, on a say an engine from a two litre downwards, between the minimum and the maximum is normally about a litre. That's typically. That'll give you kind of a rough idea. But if you've got a bigger engine, then it's more. And we are just at the minimum. So I'm going to put another litre in and check it. And I think we should be more or less good at that. Now let's see where we are at. Oh, can you see that? Absolutely bang on. Sorted. Now, put the cover back on. Because we don't need it. We'll just give it a bit of a polish. Lovely. Now we have a nice clean engine mate. What I'm going to do is top up the windscreen wash. Now I've got screen wash in the water. It's just a case of topping it up. Well, it was more or less full anyway, but still no harm in drying. We'll still check the brake level and everything. The brake level's good, even though it is more or less a brand new car, but still, you never know, things could happen. Let's check the water level. And again, the brand new cars, you wouldn't expect too much to be wrong. Just below the minimum, but before I do that, I want to check to make sure the antifreeze is okay. And again, you'd expect the antifreeze to be okay, but you never know. Now, good for minus 37. So, where we are, well, having said that, in Ireland, it could be minus 37 in five minutes, but. Um, that's as far as my gauge goes up to anyway, so we'll be good at that. So look, hope it helps. Thumbs up and subscribe. Don't forget our website and forum are up, so uh, log on to them, check them out, um, sign up to the forum. Any questions you have, put them onto the forum. I think it's just going to be easier for everybody to do it that way. And that's it, a service really on, on a new Golf. Nothing to it, just make sure you get the right oil. It's vitally important you get the right oil. And that's it. So thumbs up and subscribe. And don't forget to get your hands dirty. See you for the next one.